Do you sometimes wonder what 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G and 5G really mean for mobile phones? Well, that's what we're going to cover in this video. There have been five generations of mobile networks. 1G stands for the first generation of mobile networks, 2G stands for the second generation, and so on. The first generation of mobile communications was based on analog networks. First generation mobile networks were introduced in the early 1980s. 5G is the latest generation of mobile networks which was launched in 2019 in many parts of the world. Mobile networks started their journey in a decentralized way. For first generation networks, there was a range of analog technologies across the world. The second generation mobile networks had a slightly lower number of technologies. As the mobile network evolution continued, the mobile networks started to get streamlined. For example, 4G networks across the globe only use the LTE technology. 5G networks follow the same approach with only NR technology worldwide. The first generation of mobile networks was introduced through various analog technologies including AMPS or Advanced Mobile Phone System in the US, Total Access Communication System in the UK, NMT for the Nordic region, and CNETs in Germany. Then around 1991-92, we entered the digital era of mobile communications. Some of the key technologies of that era are GSM, Global System for Mobile Communications, DAMS, which is a digital version of AMPS, and IS-95, which is commonly known as CDMA1. During the second generation of mobile networks, especially after the introduction of IS-95, two tracks of mobile network evolution came into existence. The first track was GSM, which was based on FDMA and TDMA, whereas the other track was IS-95 based on the CDMA technology. Between 2G and 3G, there were some other interim technology updates. One critical update was GPRS or General Packet Radio Service. GPRS added the packet switch data capability to the existing GSM networks, which led the way for mobile data services. GPRS was further enhanced by Edge or Evolved Data for Global Evolution that further improved the data speeds. GPRS is often referred to as 2.5G and Edge is sometimes referred to as 2.75G. The third generation of mobile networks was based on UMTS and CDMA 2000. UMTS, which stands for Universal Mobile Telecommunication System, was based on the wideband CDMA technology. It made use of the network enhancements that took place as part of the GPRS and Edge enhancements. UMTS was the 3G upgrade path for the GSM networks. The third generation technology for the other track, IS-95, was CDMA 2000. CDMA 2000 is also known as IS-2000. Then between 3G and 4G, some other enhancements were made to the 3G networks. That is where technologies like HSPA and EVDO come in. These technologies can be termed as 3.5G as they introduced high-speed data capability in the existing 3G networks. HSPA stands for High Speed Packet Access and is a combination of High Speed Downlink Packet Access HSDPA, and High Speed Uplink Packet Access HSUPA. HSPA was the high speed data service for the GSM track, that is the UMTS network. EVDL was the high speed data service for the CDMA track. Then in 2009, a technology called Long Term Evolution or LTE was introduced in the Scandinavian cities of Oslo and Stockholm. LTE is the most widely available cellular technology today in most parts of the world. LTE has seen further enhancements like LTE Advanced and LTE Advanced Pro which on the mobile phone screens can be seen as LTE Plus or 4G Plus. That brings us to the fifth generation of mobile networks. 5G is enabled by a technology called New Radio or NR. Five G NR can work with and without the existing four G LTE networks. Four G LTE and five G NR are expected to coexist for a very long time. 
and they will complement each other by addressing various use cases for customers together. Let's now have a look at this table to summarize what we have learned so far. In a nutshell, there are five different generations of mobile networks starting from 1G all the way to 5G. The first generation of mobile networks had at least four different network technologies, whereas the latest generation of mobile networks, 5G, only has one technology. Usually, there is one generation of mobile networks every 10 years. The latest technology at the moment is 5G, and we expect to see the sixth generation of mobile networks, 6G, around 2030. Halfway between two network generations, there are major enhancements to ensure that networks evolve continuously. Minor enhancements take place more frequently. For example, 2G GSM networks saw GPRS as a major enhancement, whereas IS-95 networks saw IS-95B as an enhancement. 3G networks saw the major enhancements in the form of HSPA and EVDO. 4G LTE networks saw these enhancements through LTE Advanced and LTE Advanced Pro. Let's now have a look at the achievable data speeds. To be clear, the peak speeds that we mostly talk about in the technical documentation are the maximum speeds that the network can generate. It doesn't mean that every single user will get that speed, it just means that at the maximum speed that will be shared among multiple users. So for example, if we look at the LTE networks, it says peak download speeds of up to 300 Mbps are possible. But that doesn't mean that I, as an individual user, will get all of that 300 Mbps on my phone. The peak speed is the absolute maximum, and I may, as a user, get a small portion of this 300 Mbps. Generally, with basic LTE networks, you can get an average speed of around 15 to 20 Mbps, at least in the UK. Similarly, with LTE advanced networks, average download speeds of about 65 to 100 Mbps are possible. 5G networks can generate up to 10 Gbps of download speeds, and as a user, I may only get a certain percentage of this 10 Gbps due to the network conditions and also due to the many people trying to access the network at the same time as me. If you're interested in more details on this topic, check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. Also, click the notification bell and drop a like on this video.